Welcome to Quick 3D Tutorials. In this video, we want to show you how to use Maya Light Linking. Uh, basically, the Maya Light Linking is going to be used to speed up the render and is going also to be used for character lighting. So sometime in the scene, the scene lighting is very good, but you want to only have some of light source for character you have on the scene. So over here, I have just uh, two simple light one is blue and one is red and over here we have just a spear a group of two dinosaur and the horses which is going to be parenting each by other so if i just go to the ipi render so you can see uh, i have the blue and red light from the other side so how we can uh, control the light to linking this to the different object. We're going to the windows, make sure you don't selecting anything over here. Go to the windows, relationships, go to the light links and click on it. So here you have your light and here you have all the geometry and things and selection seed and so on over here. So to do this, basically, when you're selecting your first light, which is the blue one, you can see everything has been selected. And that means everything have the light. If I just click on the blank area, you can see I have not selecting the other, but probably we have not uh, this like this. We're going to talking about this later. But so now, so you can just click on it and click which object do you want. And as you can see, when you click on it, it's going to affecting the light, affecting this. And you can, of course, deselect this. For this spear is simple. But if we, you have a group, all the group is torn to have the light effect. But if you want to have one of them, you can just open this and selecting only this or maybe this. But when you came into this type, which you have parenting the different object uh, like child, of course, when you're selecting the first one, maybe you don't, uh, you want only have this one. By, by default, is going to connecting it to the all of them. There are no problem with the with the leather one here and this is going to again do the same thing. So how we can control it? Basically, you can go to the right click and show shapes. So now you need to select the shape of the the horse you want. So let's see, I want to have only this, I'm going to select the shape. Or if I want to have only this, I can go to select the shape. And same thing over here. And now we just, uh, you know how to select the different things. So now uh, we just close this and we have just selecting, uh, let's see, the spear also. So like, like this. Uh, let's see, I have, uh, I want to disconnect every light. So if I just click on this, the shape is work, but the group is not working. And that is because we need to do this by other way. Let me show you this over here. So the thing you need to do, basically you need to open. Let's show you. You need to open the group and just deselect this. But let's see, we have, we have a lot of groups and I cannot do this for every single one. So I click on this, I want to disconnect everything. So the thing we can do, if we're looking in the viewport, we can go to something, select highlight. So you can see it's going by default, selecting all the geometry has linked to this light. And then we need to click right click and go to reverse selection, select it. So what it does is going to opening only the group you have uh, object selected and then you can just click on the blank area so every of these um, connection to the different one has been gone. So that is a way how to uh, remove the light link from the, 
from the different groups you have selected so let's see same the thing you have and of course if, if you have selecting the group one the root of this so it is no problem you can again do the same things if you're looking to the viewport selecting the highlight right click reversed and just click outside so uh, so let's see if you want actually to linking this slide to all of them the easiest way will be actually actually to create this light once again because by default Maya going to lighting every light is lighting on all the object you have so that was just the basics how you can control and lighting your scene inside Maya thanks for watching